Thank you Twinmotion for sponsoring this video. So what you're looking at here is a map, a map that shows you the starting point of the project to the end point. Over here, this is a somewhat of a wireframe model that I created that just allows me to imagine what this would look like in three-dimensional space. My next step was to start to thinking about materiality and creating a division between what this was gonna be and what these objects were gonna be. And then I started to carve into that. And then when I got to like this point, after all that craziness, I was like, what have I done? done i just looked at this and i hated it i had to step away for like a day or two from this project because it just depressed me to see what i had created and so that's exactly why i decided to make my life easier and simplify the design then i eventually brought it over to this part here because i thought you know some of these elements on the outside i got to start to bring in but uh, it's important to note that at this moment in the project i started to imagine that it would be located on some sort of island. It was really complicated to create that roof element and I wanted it to be accessible too in the project. And I'm glad I just stumbled upon this. So this was supposed to be one of the first attempts at uh, designing the facade. But what ended up happening was that my computer couldn't handle this, like decided to trash what I had worked on this facade. And I added something here that represents glazing. That pretty much sums up the project at this phase. And so now let me show you what I did on Twin Motion, which is where, as I always say, the magic starts to happen. So then I kept imagining this model, rather than being on a remote island, I imagined it being inside of a cave. That eventually was like too complicated to do for me on Twin Motion. I didn't have the time to sit here and sculpt everything. So what I did is that I took it over to Rhino and I created like this makeshift shell around it that would represent the inside of the mountain. And you can see here that this is exactly what I lofted. This would work perfectly as my mountain. Now I could take my time to sculpt around the areas around my project so that when I sat there and I set up my camera within the scene, I can have uh, some life happening within the mountain uh, in the back or within this cavern. And you can see right here, this is my original sketch, but now in 3D and with a little bit of a backstory to it. And there you go. Now you can see that I'm starting to get that sunlight that's coming through and functioning as a spotlight. Now is when the fun starts to happen. I started to add some material to it. I started with some um, concrete and now I've just added the glass. I've added some reflective glass. And now of course it's time to hide some of those mistakes that I made in the model with some trees and also to add some life to this project. Now let's continue by adding some more of that atmosphere into the rendering. Look at that, I mean, it's looking much better. You could see that I added a little waterfall there. Adding people, you know, even if it's just one person makes a huge difference. So now that I gave you a quick overview of what it took to make the model, let's take a quick little tour around the model so you can see what I finished up with. So you see, here's the final model that I showed you before. And you can see that I added some more elements like that boat there. I finally fixed that waterfall. And there are, you know, the trees that I finished putting back here. What a big difference the images make because I added that, uh, I, what I did is I added smog to the scene so that it made that light bleed and really look like a spotlight over the building. But you could see what a major change in the building from something like this that generated from these few lines over here, actually from the sketch that I made.
So there you go, guys. That's a look into the weird stuff that happens in my brain, taking you from an old sketch of mine from Thesis all the way to an ancient ruin located on the inside of a carved out mountain. And remember, guys, I make architecture videos all the time. So if you like looking at weird, cool stuff like this, make sure you subscribe. I also have a bunch of videos that show you how to's and give you advice uh, if you're thinking of starting architecture or if you're already in architecture school. So I pretty much guarantee you that there's a video for everyone. So hit that subscribe button, hit that bell. And now that that call to action is done, I'm going to go check out this bad boy in VR. Once again, I'd like to thank Twinmotion for sponsoring this video and making this super cool program. Remember that if you click on the link in my description, you'll get to download a free trial version of Twinmotion. Check it out.